This is a 1968 Javelin grill. You can't find them. And when you get them, they're all busted up because of the natural action of people slamming the hood, bust them up. Well, we had to piece together a whole bunch of different grills that were junk grills. And just by cutting them and sanding them and gluing parts together, you can see where all this looks just like stock. These are the brackets. You know, the brackets that go in the area, you know, they hold. Well, those were all busted up. Where this thing comes through, that got broken up. You gotta be patient. And then glue plastic together. And then sand it. You know, we had to bond to it. File it. And now it's in primer. And the grill mesh gets black and then it's silver. So you gotta pick which one you're gonna do first. So you gotta mask that all off, paint the silver, and then you're gonna have to take the masking off the black part, you know, the mesh, and mask all the silver that's already been painted, and then paint the black on the grill. So the trick on this is not to get too much in the corners and work your way up and not get a run. Just take your time. The outside here is the last thing you gotta worry about. And then when you do that, you gotta worry about getting overspray coming down. And we're painting in poor lighting. It's getting dark out toward the end of the night. It's really nice if you can paint when it's high noon and you don't get any shadows. The reproduction grill is $700. And you're thinking like, how could anybody charge $700 for a little piece of plastic like this? Well, if you add up the hours it takes for you, you know, you don't have the money and you use the time instead, if you even charge like $10 an hour, by the time you end up piecing all that stuff together and doing body work and trying to get the thing all so it looks like a, a new grill, $700 seems cheap. No. <laughs> These things were all snapped off across here. So we had to get plastic that was just like that, cut this out, fit it in there, sandwiched it together with epoxy and used uh, clamps. And, you know, it looks like it's original. That's what you're going for. After all the body work that was done and gluing the pieces together, now is the final process of painting. And previously, the silver was painted, so now all that had to be masked just to paint those grills black. And talk about a pain in the butt, masking this thing whole up, this whole thing up, you don't want to get any kind of black where the silver was, and originally this, the black came up to here, so we made it look like stock. And if you didn't do a decent job, you're going to get a shadow coming through, so it's kind of built up like a pinata right now. And then he's going to paint all that black, and then there's a silver crosshairs with a target that American Motors has right there. And you get some detailed paint, fix that badge, put that on there, and get some silver and do those lines, or just like stock. When you're painting something like this, it just takes a little common sense that you want to paint the surface that's going to be not wet when you're touching it. So you paint the inside first. Now you can flip it like this, and he's going to start painting this side. And if you've ever painted tubing or mesh or wire fence or something like that, 
it's a pain because the paint is just going through and you got every facet that you've got to try getting painted from every direction. And you might think that you put enough paint on it and after it's all over with, you find a spot that didn't get much paint. It's just the way it is with tubing or wire. Tape dab turned out pretty good, required very little touch up. Didn't have any blue in the shop, so I'm just going to touch that area up at a later date. I just modified a couple hardware store clips for the extra thick repaired tabs. That's unlike the original. Here she is installed. There was a little bit of bleed through in her tape job, not too bad. Might have to touch up those crosshairs a little bit more, but it's good enough for now. Thanks for watching.